So let us recall uh, the lemma 5.1. It said that if you have a set um, and if you have a collection A of subsets of X, X which has the finite intersection property, then there is a collection D of subsets of X such that D contains this uh, collection A. It has the finite intersection property and if B is any other collection containing A and such that it has finite intersection property, then D cannot be a proper uh, sub-collection of B. So D uh, uh, with this proper inclusion uh, relation with B, it does not hold. So let us look at the proof of this lemma. So to begin the proof, uh, we consider this collection of collections. So um, I denote it by this Tamil letter SA. This is the Tamil letter pronounced SA. So uh, this is the set of all collections B of subsets of X such that um, the collection A is a sub-collection of B and uh, this uh, collection B has the finite intersection property. And um, we want to show that this, uh, uh, this collection of collections so has the maximal uh, element with respect to the proper inclusion. Now notice that um, the proper inclusion relation proper inclusion relation among collections uh, gives a strict partial order on the um, collection of collections so on so so uh, we just have to show that this uh, has a maximal element with respect to proper inclusion and the idea is to use Zorn's lemma, which if you remember stated that um, if you have a strictly, uh, if you have a set with a strict partial order, such that uh, every simply ordered subset of that set uh, has an upper bound, then the set has a maximal element. So what we have to show is that every simply ordered subset of this collection of collections sub has an upper bound. So for this uh, let uh, I am denoting now a ra. This is the Devanagari letter ra. So this set is um, this is an element first of all this is an element of this um, not an element rather a subset of this collection of collections so and this is a simply ordered so let R be a simply ordered subset of this set so uh, with respect to proper inclusion meaning that uh, if if two uh, collections B1 and B2 belong to Ra, then either B1 is a proper subcollection of B2 or B2 is a proper subcollection of B1. So the comparability axiom also holds for this um, um, subset Ra with respect to the proper inclusion relation. So uh, we just need to show, we need to show that uh, Ra has an upper bound. So then it will show that every simply ordered subset of this collection of collections sub has an upper bound. So to show this we make a couple of claims. So the first claim is that the union of all collections belonging to this subset Ra belongs to the collection of collections Sa. So um, meaning that so if we denote this by let's say C, 
then C has the finite intersection property and and contains the collection A and contains A and secondly that C is an upper bound upper bound for R and the second one is trivial this is trivial since if uh, B belongs to the collection R then this implies that B implies that uh, B is a subset um, of this union of all these collections B in R in the uh, subset R so uh, therefore this C is an upper bound for um, for this sub subset R and so we only have to show the first claim which is that this union has the finite intersection property and it contains the collection A so to show one so note that this uh, collection A is um, belongs to uh, so it is a sub collection of this collection C since uh, A is a sub collection of each B uh, each collection B for B in the uh, subset uh, of collections R R so um, therefore a is contained in in this collection C, and so we only have to show that um, it suffices to show that uh, this collection C has the finite intersection property. So to do this, so let C1, C2, Cn belong to this collection C. So uh, since uh, this is a union of all collections of uh, the subset. This is a simply ordered subset R. So this means that C i belongs to some collection B i for each i um, in this set 1, 2, up to n. And now uh, consider the uh, chain of proper inclusions among the collections bi since this is a finite chain since this is a finite chain it has a largest element meaning that one of the bi's will contain all the rest so say bk so suppose that bk um, is the largest element among b1 b2 up to bn so this means that uh, uh, bi is a sub collection proper sub collection of bk for each i uh, not equal to k i in the set 1 2 up to 10 and this implies uh, further that each of these ci's belong to this bk for all i in this set 1 2 up to n and um, therefore this implies that the intersection of all these ci's uh, uh, of 1 i equal to 1 to n must be non empty since the collection BK has the finite intersection property and this shows that um, our collection C this is an upper bound for the um, simply ordered subset Ra of the collection of collections so, so this proves the uh, final statement of uh, lemma 5.1